So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to construct angle 33 3 quarter. So this is the angle that we are looking forward to. We're going to be having 33 3 over 4 3 over 4 degrees. So that's what I'm going to be showing you um, in this video. Now if you look at the one that uh, is currently showing on your screen, you see that that one is very very bold and that's what we are going to be doing in this video. Alright, so um, without wasting time, let's get started. But before I start, if you are constructing an angle like this, a basic knowledge of angle 60 degrees, angle 30 degrees, angle 45 degrees, angle 90 degrees, you know, this basic angle, you should already have the knowledge of how to construct this angle. And if you don't, uh, you can just check uh, the playlist, you'll find videos showing you how to construct all of these angles. Now, for us to get this test 3, three quarter degrees the first thing you are supposed to do is to um, write out how you tend to achieve this angle because some of some angles like this there are more than one ways or one method in getting them so you have to decide what method are you do i want to use exactly so for this now we are going to be using angle 30 degrees plus three three quarter degrees so we are going to be combining these angles together for us to get angle uh, that's 3, 3 over 4 degrees. So now let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to be doing, I'm going to draw my line. So, and again, if you look at the um, the one I've done that I, I showed on the screen earlier, you will notice that they are very faint. The construction line, lines are faint, the way it should be. Just the angle alone is what is very bold. And that is how your drawing should be, exactly. However, in this particular video, I will make sure all the lines, including the construction line and the angle itself, I will make sure they are bold so that you can see them. But however, once you are drawing your own, make sure that they are very faint. You know, make sure they are thin lines. Make sure they are thin lines. So it's only the angle 3 and the 4 that should be made bold. Exactly. Alright, so I've drawn my straight line. I've picked a point. And on that point now, so the first thing I want to do now is to construct um, angle 30. So I've picked a point on the line. So I'm going to draw like a semicircle on it. So I haven't done that. So where the semicircle is touching my straight line, I'm just going to note those points. And then with the same radius that I use in drawing uh, the semicircle, I'll come to this point. Uh, okay, let me just uh, num uh, let me call this point O. Let me call this point A and let me come call this point B. So I place my compass there with the same with the same um, length. I place it on that point B. I draw an arc over the semicircle. Now there are points of intersection. This is it. Now, so if you if I'm to extend this line from the origin, which is from point O straight up, that means I'm going to be having angle 60. Exactly. But what I want to do is I want to divide this angle 60 into two so i can just bring in um, my compass now i want to buy i don't need to draw a line exactly i don't need to draw a line from point o to pass through let me call this point c point, so i don't need to draw a line from point o to point c so i can just bring in my compass since i already know the point of intersection i bring in my compass i place it on point b so i'll draw an arc all right with the same length i go to point c i'll draw another arc so like I said, I'm making it bold so that you can see it. All these are supposed to be faint line. I hope that is clear. So from the point of intersection, I'll draw a line from the point of intersection of those two arcs. So now I have um, 30 degrees. Now I've been able to achieve 30 degree, which is this. Now the next thing is for me to achieve angle three uh three quarter exactly now for me to achieve that this is what i'm going to do i hope you can see it here so for me to achieve that i'm going to be having something like this i'm going to be having 45 degrees okay so i'm going to be having if you if i have 45 degrees minus 30 degrees exactly that would give me what that would give me 15 degrees now if i have 15 degree if i should divide it by two i'll be having 7.5 degrees now this 7.5 if i should divide it into two i'll be having three three quarter so let me explain that now 
So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to co construct angle 90. Remember, this is construction. You don't need to use your protractor at all. It's just your compass, your ruler, and your pencil. So you can, if you look at my set now, you see that there's no protractor here. So now let's construct um, angle 90. So now I'll pick any convenient length on my compass. I'll place it on point B. From point B, I'll draw an arc. With the same length, I'll come to point A. I'll draw an arc. Now from the point of intersection, which is this, I'll draw a line to point O. I'll draw a line to point O. So what I'm having here is 90 degree. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bisect angle um, the angle 90. Exactly. I'm going to bisect that angle 90. So in doing that, uh, I'm going to bring in my compass again. First, let me note uh, where this line, this perpendicular line that I've just drawn, is touching the semicircle I draw earlier, which is at this point. Exactly. So let me just um, call it point D. Exactly. This is just for um, proper understanding. That's why I'm putting all this alphabet. So I pick my compass again. I tell me convenient length. I place it on point B. I'll draw an arc. With the same length, I'll go to point D. I'll draw another arc. Now, from their point of intersection, which is... Um, so, you have to be careful when you are picking the point of intersection. Make sure it is um, at the center of the intersection itself. So, from that point of intersection, I'll draw a line to point O. And with that, I've been able to divide that angle 90 into 2. Exactly. So, now I have this part... <coughs> The combination of these two here to be 45, and what I'm having here is 45. Now let's look at, uh, let's do a little math. Don't forget what I'm having here alone for this line is 30 degrees. Exactly. And what I'm having from this line here is 45 degrees. We're having a total of 45 degrees. <laughs> now, that means if this from here is 30, and from here to here is 45. That means what we are having here, the angle between this line is 15 degrees. So, which is this 15? So, what we are going to do is we are going to divide it twice. Yeah, we are going to divide it twice for us to achieve three, uh, three quarter degrees. Exactly. So, for us to do that also, so let's go back to our semicircle. Uh, where the line, where these two lines are touching the semicircle. So, let's just note that point because we want to bisect this angle. Exactly. So this is 30, this is 45. The angle here is 15. So now I want to bisect it. That is divide it into two. So I'm noting the point of intersection of the two lines on this semicircle that I've drawn. So you bring in your compass again. So at any convenient um, length, since the angle is very, very small, I always make sure that the length of, the, um, of my compass is, is a little bit long for smaller lengths. So I'll draw an arc. So I'll go to the second part where um, the second line is touching the semicircle. I'll draw another arc. So let me come back here and make it. So you see that as um, the angle, the point of intersection will be a bit, a bit very, a bit wide. But you have to be careful to uh, in locating the center. So uh, for this now, um, this is this is the center. So this is the center. So what I'll do is I'll draw a line from the point of intersection of the two arcs to point O. So if I should draw it to point O. So with this now I've been able to divide it. So what I'm having here is this place is um, seven and a half degrees and this place is also seven and a half degrees. And don't forget this entire angle here is 30 degrees. So the next thing I'm going to do is this particular angle, seven and a half degrees, I'm also going to bisect it. I'm going to bisect it. So it's the same approach. So I'll come back to where um, I already have this place noted already. So this new line that I've just drawn, I will note where it is touching the semicircle. So the next thing is I'm going to bisect this angle again. So I bring back my, my compass. I place it on the other point where this line that is making the 30 degrees is touching the semicircle. And then I'm going to draw an arc. So on this second line too, I'm also going to draw 
and act with the same lens. So it will be um, the point of intersection will be very, uh, very wide, such that if you are not careful, you might not get it. To be very, very close. Very... All right. So um, now is to uh, locate the point of intersection. So you have to be very careful again in locating it. And from my drawing here, so this is the point of intersection right here. All right. So from that point of intersection again, I'm going to draw it. Draw a line to point O. So from here, I'm going to draw a line to point O. So this line that I've just drawn now, I've divided this angle seven and a half degree into. So here we are going to be having um three three over four degrees, and here is also going to be making three three over four degrees. Now, and if you look at this closely, we already have our angle that's three uh three over four degrees, which is let me let me just do something here, which is this angle here. So which is this angle here? You might need to use your your compass to do that so that it can be very neat instead of um, using a freehand. So, so this right here is the angle that we are to construct. So you can see it is touching. It is from here to so this particular point that is making it 33, 3 over 4 degree. Now you can pick in, bring in your protractor now to just confirm. Um, you know, so if everything is correct, everything is neat, you'll be having 33. So yours might be, if you put in your, um, your protractor, it might, be, it might be on 34. You know, it might be just on 34 because this is just almost 34. Exactly. So this is the process on how to construct angle 33, 3 over 4. If you find value, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. And like I said, you know, once you are constructing all of this, make sure your lines are very thin. The only line that should be bold is this particular line. This particular line, you know. So at the end of the day, just like you are seeing it on the screen, you know, like the sample I showed you earlier, that is what your drawing should look like. Every other thing here should be faint line, exactly. So that is for this video. I'll, and if you also want to know how to construct every other angle, like angle 7, 97 and a half, 67 and a half, 52 and a half, angle 165 degrees, you know, there are a lot of angles like this. That just check the video, uh, the playlist on technical drawing, and then you'll see all of those videos. So thank you very much, and I'll see you all in another video.